So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse and 801. If you guys don't know, challenges usually end at the week 10, which this season is no different. Week 10 is the like it's over. There is no more challenges. So if you are interested to get this big bundle, you will have to complete all of these challenges. So just be aware of that. So we're going to be looking at Eververse uh, Flower Child. Um, I mean, it's unique. It's definitely unique. I definitely would still tell you to pick it up just because you might never know, but I can comfortably say that I will never use this shader. Uh, clinging cobweb. This one, however, is actually pretty dope. So I definitely would recommend this one because it is pretty cool. The only thing I would switch out is the cloak. I would switch this out for a black. So that way it can all look cool. Uh, murder of crows. We have the necro beast, which man, like honestly, I like the bones. If, if it, if it was just different or if there was more bones, I think it would be way better. And then Ghastly Durance. Yep. And for the stuff at the bottom, we have a uh, zombie shuffle. We have the mourner, which I know some people are going to definitely going to pick this up, which I can't even blame him because it does look really cool. Because when you have your uh, your booster on, you can see that the stuff moves, which is pretty cool. Uh, Fairy tale flight. It doesn't look bad, man. Like, actually, we have heart powered shell, which is definitely Sailor Moon themed. At least I think so. Uh, skeletal dance. Pumpkin Carver. Sorry, I just I'm tired. I just got off of work. He literally makes a, a skeleton or not skeleton. I'm sorry, a pumpkin thing. Yeah. And then for Transmat, Batwing entrance. We have only the finest. Looming Moon. And then for the shaders, Clean Cobweb again. Nougat Delight, which I definitely would recommend this one. I, I just think this is one of the better shaders um, because the like bone color, I want to say. Yeah, the, the bone color is pretty cool. The green is super dope. Just be aware that it has a red glow. We have Skelegal, which is also a pretty good black. Definitely super cool. Just be aware that the orange is there. So like, I know some people might not like that. I personally always use Skelegal on a piece that turns it black. So like the cloak, this is such a good black. So if I'm looking for a good black, Skelegal is usually one that I look out for. And then Shadow Strike for the last one, which not the biggest fan of this one. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for 801, that's not 801. Here she is. We have, what is this shader? Gold Leaf. This is a pretty cool shader. Um, this is from season of, oh man, season, fuck, 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 season of the, um, <clears throat> season of Menagerie, I think it was called, or no, season of Opulence. This is a dope shader. Uh, it's an old one too. So Opulence was a while ago, guys. So this definitely is a good shader if you want to pick it up. Um, I don't know. I don't really, have, I really, I don't really have anything else to say. I think it's a cool shader. We have Tangled Bronze. This is from Forsaken. So even older. <clears throat> You want to have that like really fucked up like armor color. Um, it almost looks like texture as well, but I don't think there's texture to this one. I could be wrong though. Uh, definitely pick it up. It's really cool. I would only combine this with armor pieces, strictly armor pieces. So Titans are going to look really cool with this. Some Hunter pieces are going to look cool with it. And most of the Warlock stuff is not going to look good with it. Um, Dead Orbit Vision, which is this is the year three Dead Orbit shader, which means it's not super black and white. It's more black, white, green and orange. Um, so not orange, but you get what I mean, like an orange, like a metallic orange, I guess not orange either way <laughs> you get what I mean. I don't know. I definitely would recommend it because some pieces look really cool with it. All this doesn't look good though. And then for the armor sets, we have the nightly armors, which I'll have up right now. I definitely think the hunters have some really good sets. I think the boots are really cool. The helmet's pretty cool. The chest piece is super dope. The arms are super dope and the cloak, unfortunately, has this gap that I'm not the biggest fan of Titans. Actually, let me go just because I, I need to see the armor for the Titans. Cause I have like two armor sets in my head that I know both are wrong. 
that's not Titans. Uh, here it is. Yeah, that's what I was thought, thinking about. So helmet, I'm not the biggest fan of this one just because there's another helmet that's way better that has a uh, fur on the top. The arms, I'm not the, I'm the biggest fan of either. I think the chest piece is super dope. I think the boots are super dope. And I think the mark is like very meh. For the Warlocks, I think the chest piece is super dope. The arms are super dope. The helmet is okay. The bond and the boots are kind of whatever. So I definitely would recommend some of the pieces that I recommended. Warlocks definitely get the chest piece and the arms. I think those two are super, super dope. Titans, I think the chest and the boots are really cool. And then the hunters, um, I think the boots are pretty cool, even though a lot of these pieces uh, from all the classes are reskins from other world drops. I still would recommend these because they shader way better. So let me know what you guys think. I apologize that I have not been keeping up with content, specifically the uh, armor sets for the classes. It's just that I've been really putting in work on my second channel, which if you guys don't know, I have a second channel where I essentially play anything I want. We're currently playing Armor Core 6, Remnant 2, which I already finished and it was wild. And we're also playing Starfield and I'm thinking of adding some other games as well to the point where I actually have a full spreadsheet of like all of the stuff that I'm thinking about, games that are going to be coming out, games that I just want to have in my channel, like specifically uh, some of the Souls games for sure and some Metal Gear games as well. Uh, well, all of them. And yeah, it's just basically me just playing different stuff. So if you guys like that, definitely check it out because I've posted three videos. No two videos a day for the past month. Uh, today is the last day and I have posted two videos a day for a whole month on that second channel. And it was rough, definitely rough, but I'm happy I did it because I really wanted to do that. So that's why I have been slowing down on the content just because a uh, destiny two is kind of depressing right now, especially the vibe that I'm getting from everyone, especially since the layoffs and whatnot. So I haven't really been motivated to play even though I already have the content recorded, it's just, I've been doing other stuff. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow my second channel, I would very much appreciate that, but be safe. I will see you guys later.